Okay, so I literally just finished filming the living room decor video. If you haven't seen that, it's my last video, I believe, so you should go check it out. So you can kind of see it here. But um, I was kind of rushing through this because I really wanted to decorate for Christmas, but I feel like I needed to decorate normally first. And then I got sick for a week, so that just like delayed everything. So now that that video is done, I'm immediately gonna switch it up for Christmas. Um, so yeah. Um, decorate with me. Oliver's excited. I'm actually so excited that I'm finally decorating in an actual house and not an apartment because we have so much space and I'm thinking the tree belongs right there. I'm gonna remove that chair. Not sure where I'm gonna put it. I was just watching the Sorry Girls video this morning where Becky was decorating her house and she also had to remove a chair. She's like, where do people put the furniture that they have to remove for Christmas tree? And that's a good question. I'm probably just gonna throw it in the garage for now. So a couple of years ago, I saw this um, at Target and I thought it was so beautiful and I really wanted it, but I felt like it didn't make sense for me to get this because it has like little hooks for four stockings. And since here is just me and Caleb, I was like, well, so what would I put on the other ones? So I actually ended up buying it and gifting it to my sister. I think this was like two or three years ago. I can't remember. But every time I would see it in her house, like on Christmas, I'd be like, man, it's so pretty. I really wish I had gotten one. Um, and so this year when I saw it, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get one if it's still available and just add little stockings for our two cats. So um, luckily I looked it up right away and there was one left in one location here. Everything was sold out, like all the other stores and online and everything. So it was like it was meant to be. And then I just went and picked it up. Look how pretty this is, like it's so perfect. So I actually did get stockings for Caleb and I, we had some old ones, but I didn't love them. They were really small. So every time we were gonna put like, you know, stocking stuffers, it was very difficult. So let me show you. Also, I'm thinking of actually putting this right here because we don't have like a mantle and normally I just hang our stockings like over the TV stands, but not only do they then get like really close to the floor, um, it makes it difficult to open like the doors on the side. So it's not ideal. And since we have this, I'm gonna remove like these things and just decorate it all cute with like little trees and stuff. And this will be like our little mantle. So these are the stockings I got. I got them at Walmart. They're just like nice like faux fur ones. And I actually went for two different colors, but that like I feel like go well together. And I'm actually a little torn about this, like, cause now that I have to get the ones for the cats, I'm thinking like, what color do I go for that'll still go with these two? Cause all the ones I'm finding online that like are small are usually like just white or green or red. And I just, I don't, I'm not really sure what to do. I'm like, should I maybe exchange like one of these so that it's like two that are exactly the same and then two little ones that are exactly the same, maybe. I don't know, but either way, like, can you envision it? It's gonna look so cute. I got the tree, I'm gonna set it up. Growing up, I always had real trees and I was such a like, I was always like, Christmas trees have to be real. I was just like very, yeah, had a strong opinion about that. However, a couple of years ago, that kind of changed when we moved to LA into an apartment and it just became difficult to like bring a tree in and it was just a mess and I gave in and we invested in like a pretty nice fake tree and I actually really like it. So now that we have it, I feel like we have to use it, you know, but maybe every now and then, you know, we'll get a real tree because they just smell so good. That's actually why we got um, a real wreath for the door. I'll actually show you guys that I got it, I think last week when I went with my sister because she was gonna go decorate, um, get a real tree and decorate and everything. So we grabbed a wreath. Got the ornaments. Now it's time for my least favorite part. I have to put the tree together and like fluff it up and stuff. I guess I should get this out of the way. I'm also gonna take this down because I think it's gonna look weird behind the tree. Here you go. Very important, a little smart plug outlet thing so that you could put your tree like lights on a timer.
Okay, so Caleb came to help me. We fluffed up the bottom, but this is gonna take a while. So let's do a little transition to when it's done. Ta-da! Isn't it so pretty? I feel like it actually looks real when you fluff it up. We'll probably still do a few adjustments here and there. But now time for the lights. You ready? Yeah. I also don't like doing the lights. Also, it's getting dark, so we have to turn on this light, which isn't very cozy, but once we have the lights on, then we can turn it off. Okay, it's really dark, but I'm about to plug it in. Hopefully, it's nice and even. I think right there I need to adjust a little bit, but pretty good. Also, every year when we have to do this, I'm like, we should probably have just gotten a pre-lit tree. But I was always scared that like the bulbs would stop working on the tree and then what? You know, then you're just gonna have bulbs that don't light up and then still have to put the, the string. So just do it this way. So this actually took a lot longer than I was expecting and it's late and we're gonna go have dinner with my mom. So. We'll continue decorating tomorrow. It's the next day, but as you can see, it's already nighttime again because we had a pretty busy day, but we are going to finally put ornaments on the tree. Okay, so we finished putting most of the ornaments, but now I have some special ones. So each year we actually buy like a new Disney ornament. So we have Cogsworth, <laughs> we have like the Rose from Beauty and the Beast, two from Beauty and the Beast, I guess. Um, we have Olaf, and this year, when we were at Disneyland, we got our new ornaments, which I'm very excited for. Here it is. Look at it. It's the Disney castle. One of it says Disneyland on this side. And then I just realized you could see my band-aids. They're Disney too. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then on this side it says happiest place on earth. I don't know if you can see that, but how gorgeous is that? So I ended up putting that one here. We have a little Olaf here and just a few around. There are also some that aren't Disney, like somewhere here. Oh, here. We have a little friends one. So cute. Now it's time for the star. <laughs> we have two. One lights up and one is just a gold one. I'm not really sure which one I want. I liked how our tree looked last year and we just used this one, so I think I'm just gonna go for that. And if I feel like it needs something more, then eventually I'll switch it out for the, the one that lights up. You gonna do it? Yeah, okay. I can reach. <laughs> I was gonna get the big stool, so I feel like, oh, that seems scary. <laughs> yeah. oh, um, perfect. <laughs> Uh, you can see here the expert at work. So this is the trick, because he said it was like falling over. What I do is I bend this. Oh. Yeah, that way it's not only sturdier, it also makes it so it's not like too skinny at the top. Like that. Perfect. Is it straight? Yes. Okay, so now I have this big bin with more Christmas stuff. The other one was just like stuff for the tree, but this one's just like for stuff around the house. I'm actually not sure what to do with this wreath because we got a real one this year, but I'm thinking of maybe putting it over like the garage outside. I think that might be cute. Okay, so this is what I'm working with. Um, I also got these um, not long ago. I got a bunch of like new little trees to add. So yeah, let's figure out where to put all this. I already put this over here and this is what I'm thinking of. So these are actually our old stockings. They have like our letters on the other side, but if we hang it this way, you don't see it. I actually kind of like it facing this way anyway. Okay, so over by the stocking thing, I'm thinking of using these little houses. Do something like that. And then over on this side, I have some trees. I also have these little houses. So maybe, oh, we got some cat fur on it. Actually, I think that side is better. And, 
feel like this side, because they're like smaller, maybe this side does need like a tree or something. I'm also thinking of putting this candle back here. I love this candle. I actually have it over like the little wax melts and the, that thing, but I got the actual candle because as the name <laughs> suggests, it does have a wooden wick. So it just makes a nice like crackling noise when it's burning, which sounds like a fireplace and I absolutely love it and it smells so good. So over here I put this. I don't know how I'm feeling about it. And the little trees there. Not too sure. Maybe if I light the candles, I'll actually like it a bit more. I added pine cones and now I like it more. <laughs> okay, so here, I think I'm just gonna take this plant away for now. Well, this faux plant a little rearranging here and then we'll put these little trees right over here i'm not doing much i'm just you know adding little touches of christmas here and there i actually also added this little pillow here while we're just covering it but it's a little christmas pillow i just wish i had another one for this one because now i feel like it's missing something here so i might have to try to find something like similar let's go ahead and light these also this like these little like rechargeable things to light. The candles is so nice. I haven't charged mine in a while. Probably should do that. But look at that. It's so cool. It's so handy. And yeah, I got it for like my aunt's last year. And this year they were telling me like how much they've used it and how much they love it. So that's pretty cool. I just lit this candle too. And let's see if you guys can hear the crackling. I don't know if you could hear that, but I love the sound. All right, I'm gonna show you guys everything that I did, starting with the wreath outside. It's already getting a little brown because of the sun, but that's basically the only decor we have outside right now. I did leave these lights out and this wreath so we could possibly decorate outside, but I'll do that another time. Now I just gotta put this stuff back in the garage. But anyway, coming in here, so on the entryway table, we have the candles, we have some little trees. I think it looks super cute. And then moving over to the TV stand. Got a little garland with lights. Some more little trees. More trees. And then I swapped that out. I usually have like a little eucalyptus thing there, but just put a more Christmassy one. And then obviously we have our beautiful Christmas tree. I love it <laughs> so much. I'm very, very happy with it, and I just love that there's so much space now for it. I love the little wicker collar. It's probably my favorite tree we've done. And then on this side, we have the little pillow. I put um, a little Santa Claus there. Man, my palm plant is looking very sad. But yeah, I'll find another little pillow for that. And then on the coffee table, of course, we have these little trees and another candle. I haven't really done anything over here, but here of course we have our stockings for me, Caleb, and the kitties. And then we got like our little, our little village, I guess. I forgot that these light up, so just turn them on. They're so cute. And of course, my favorite fireside candle. I love that. I can't wait to have like a proper mantle, but in the meantime, this will do. Also, I haven't decided if I'm gonna put this in the garage or just keep it here. It's a little crowded, but it does fit. I don't know. Maybe, I think I'll just move it and just leave the spools here. In our bedroom, I kept it very simple. I just put this and then that little tree here. And this little tree here that's like blocked right by the mirror, which I recently got at Target at Bullseye's Playground for only five bucks. I think it's so cute. In the dining area, I didn't do much. Like, I feel like I should replace this for something more Christmassy, but I don't really know what to put right now. So maybe eventually I'll switch it out. But right here, I just put this little advent calendar, nutcracker, and I put these little guys sitting right there. Lastly, I put this Nightmare Before Christmas snow globe. I don't know if you guys can see very well. I put it in my office, which you guys haven't seen yet. So that video should be coming soon. I just opened the blinds. So we could just like see outside and I think it looks so pretty like this. Like I wish that we actually had curtains here. I feel like it would look so nice and cozy. But yeah, just thought I'd show a little overview. Look how cute and Christmassy. I love it. I know I didn't do too much, but 
it's almost like two weeks now to Christmas. You know, with me getting sick and everything, things just got delayed. So just thought I'd at least do a little something. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video decorating with us for Christmas. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.